smooth. You know, basketball has brought all of us so much uh, joy uh, through the things that we've accomplished individually and uh, as team. Uh, but it also brings a little bit of pain too to us. Okay, um, talk a little bit about if you want to or if you can about the death of Kobe Bryant, how that affected you. Well, you know, I think the unexpected situation for with Kobe was just it just hits home I think for all of us because I don't know it's not that you feel that you're you're invincible or anything but it was just shocking it was just shocking I, I probably say I was just on the sofa crying for for days and then I had text uh, Eileen who's with Nike because you know we're both Nike athletes and I'm like is this true because I friggin just like everybody else saw it on TMZ and then, um, you know, and she was like, let me check. She checked and she texted me and she said, yes. And, you know, and Gigi was there too. This is before it was all on the news. And I was just like, you know, done. Like everybody else, I think it's just, you know, it's just the unexpected. It just really is. And, and it was so tragic. And then I say, you know, I, I think about it like the triumphs of all the things that you and I and some of us, athletes who have accomplished at the, the pinnacle of the sport, you know, to win gold medals, to win championships, to be a champion, to be on the stage, to play in LA. It's like storybook for all of us who've been able to put on the purple and gold, but then for it to be so tragic, you know, yeah. that for me, the dichotomy of the, the triumph and the tragedy is just, it's just overwhelming. You know, I think it still is, but, um, Wow, I mean, it's just it's just unbelievable. It really is. I think the other part, though, um, you know, I got into the situation because I haven't talked about this since I had an interview with Gail King. But the thing is, is that um, I kept getting all these calls and interviews. Obviously, people knew that we were friends, that we were, you know, just close. And I had like over a hundred interview requests, and I wasn't doing any interviews. I'm like, I'm not doing no interviews. I'm not talking about it. I don't. I can't talk about it. I'm on the sofa. You know, I reached out to Jelly Bean. I got a chance to talk to him. You know, his mom, his sister, just just the family. You know, going back and forth with Vanessa. So everything was cool. But I kept going. You know, I asked that. You know, people keep asking me about doing interviews. I don't know what to do. I think the last thing was I was just kind of like, you know, what? I'll just pick one. I'll, I'll sit down. And just just get it over tell my story you know with gail king and it'll be good and then that just turned out to be not good yeah you know? and then from there i was like i'm never gonna talk about it again i'm not because i wasn't trying to do the interview to be like oh it's about me yeah you know i was just trying to get the interview like there's another side of the story that a lot of people don't know about him and how much he studied the game how much we were alike you know what i mean just our work ethic and just studying the game and watching video and being a student of the game and I kind of had saw these interviews with other people and I'm like they don't really know him you know they know the basketball player but they don't know Kobe yeah. so that was the the gist of it but it was heartbreaking for real